When Hisashi Aochi arrived at the University of Tokyo Hospital, after being exposed to the highest level of radiation of any human in history, doctors were stunned. Imagine standing over a vessel, unaware that you are about to endure the most harrowing ordeal of radiation exposure ever recorded. The 35-year-old nuclear power plant technician had almost zero white blood cells and thus no immune system. Soon, he would be crying blood as his skin melted. The nuclear accident began before noon on September 30th, 1999, at the atomic power plant in Tokaimura, Japan. The three men were untrained and mixed their materials by hand. Then, they accidentally poured seven times the amount of uranium into an improper tank. Hisashi Uchi stood directly over the vessel as gamma rays flooded the room. While the plant and local villages were evacuated, Uchi's unprecedented ordeal had just begun. Kept in a special radiation ward to protect him from hospital-borne pathogens, Hisashi Uchi leaked fluids and cried for his mother. He regularly flatlined from heart attacks, only to be revived at the insistence of his family. His only escape would be a final cardiac arrest, 83 long days later. Born in Japan in 1965, Hisashi Uchi began working in the nuclear energy sector at an important time for his country. Locals looked on in horror as an explosion at the power reactor Rock Tokaimura on March 11, 1997. Dozens of people were irradiated before a government cover-up was launched to hide negligence. At around 10 a.m. on September 30th, Hisashi Uchi, his 29-year-old peer Masato Shinohara, and their 54-year-old supervisor Yutaka Yokokawa tried a shortcut. None of them had any idea what they were doing. At 10.35 a.m., the uranium reached critical mass. The room exploded with a blue flash, confirming that a nuclear chain reaction had occurred and was releasing lethal emissions of radiation. The plant was evacuated as Hisashi Uchi and his colleagues were taken to the National Institute of Radiological Sciences in Chiba. Auchi's exposure was the most radiation that any human being had ever suffered. He had been in immediate pain and could barely breathe. His radiation burns covered his entire body and his eyes were leaking blood. Most dire was his lack of white blood cells and the absence of an immune response. Doctors placed him in a special ward to prevent infection and assess the damage to his internal organs. Three days later, he was transferred to the University of Tokyo Hospital where revolutionary stem cell procedures would be tested. Uchi's first week in intensive care involved countless skin grafts and blood transfusions. Cell transplant specialist Hisamura Hirai next suggested a revolutionary approach that had never been tried on radiation victims before stem cell transplants. These would rapidly restore Uchi's ability to generate new blood. Images of Hisashi Uchi show that the skin grafts could not hold because his DNA couldn't rebuild itself. I can't take it anymore, cried Uchi. I am not a guinea pig. But at his family's insistence, the doctors continued their experimental treatments, even as his skin began to melt from his body. Then, on Uchi's 59th day in the hospital, he had a heart attack. He would eventually have three heart attacks in one hour. With his DNA obliterated and brain damage increasing every time he died, Uchi's fate had long been sealed. It was only a merciful final cardiac arrest due to multi-organ failure on December 21, 1999 that released him from the pain.